again to you from Jacksdale Southern Community Church. I've just gazed over this paragraph I'm going to read with you once again and it is without doubt one of great comfort yet one of great depth, one of great seriousness, one that makes you think, wow, I must think and think again and consider. Let me read it to you. So section number 11. If you do not take pains for the kingdom of heaven now, there will be nothing to be done for your souls after death. This is the only fit season for working. And if this season be lost, the kingdom is forfeited. Whatsoever thy hands findeth to do, do it with thy might. For there is no work, nor device, nor wisdom in the grave, whither thou goest. Ecclesiastes 9. It was a saying, so I'm told, of Charles V. I have spent my treasure, but that I may recover again. I have lost my health, but that I may have again. But I have lost a great many of soldiers, but them I can never have again. So other temporal blessings may be lost and recovered again. But if the term of life wherein you should work for heaven be once lost, it is past all recovery. You can never have another season again for your souls. Short, yes sweet, but without doubt serious. How we find ourselves trifling around how we, self, how we find ourselves looking to that which is so temporal. Not always those things that we would call worldly things, and bad things and things of sin. But those things that we can find ourselves putting before God, before Christ and before his kingdom. We can find ourselves busy in business. We can find ourselves busy in the things of this world. Doing things that need to be done. But oh, how often our labours are too much that way, instead of labouring for Christ. In no way would we want to say that some things are important, some things take our time, some things take our mind. But what is it that has your heart? And as I read these lines from Thomas Watson, I walk away from this recording challenged greatly. Oh, how we mess with time. Oh, how we waste time. There are some of you who will be Christians and you will look back and say, if only. And by the grace of God, you can look forward. There will be some of you maybe who yet have not believed upon the Lord Jesus Christ. And I would say to you this, waste no more time. Not one more second, not one more minute or hour. But come, repent and turn from sin and look to him who can cleanse you. Oh, do not waste your time on that thing that you are. Do not go on in that sport. Do not go on in that business without knowing Christ. So today, be it known, be it known to you, I pray, that once we pass from this life onto the next, there is no second chance, no purgatory. We will stand before Holy God, the only God, the only wise God who has revealed himself in the person and in the work of Jesus Christ, who came and died on the cross, lived a perfect life of sinlessness, and died a death of one who was a criminal. Why? To save his people. Today are you his. Do not mess around with time, and do not gamble with your soul, but look to Christ and be saved.